<laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, so we're going to get to an article in this episode, right, Sean? Yeah. We were going to talk about, well, the theme, I think, would be how to make friends. Mm-hmm. We got a theme episode, mm-hmm. you know, advice for Mike's son, Benjamin. Yeah. Hopefully he won't need it. Hopefully be a naturally social person. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, I've been, um, I've been reading a fair bit. There's this 2023 U.S. Surgeon General's report on our epidemic of loneliness and isolation. And before you get started, can I just say something? Of course. I might have lost one or two friends this week. What? For what? Because of this clip. I got into a big old fight with Racine about Israel-Palestine. Big old. Oh, big... I heard about this. Really? Why Why do you care? Because it's annoying because on the podcast we will, will like start. Why does he care? Well, that's the question. Why does anyone care other than Jews or now this fucking worm. Will, <laughs> yeah, you know you're lying to this jellyfish. <laughs> this fucking jellyfish will go on Chapo Trap House and be like, "Oh, oh Israel is so bad." You know? Just no integrity, no principles, like whatever is going to whatever is going to help him. And but then as soon as he's in a room with her, he's going to throw me under the bus. Just to be How like agreeable. You? How dare you? I want to hit him with my car. <laughs> that could be funny. It would be funny. And I, I was I was initially like more upset with Jordan. Uh-huh. And then I, I texted this to Amber. And then Amber got me fired up oh, that's good. against Adam. Who's Amber? Amber Frost from of Chapo Trap House. We oh, gotta have her yeah. on. She's a our new friend Amber our Frost. Our new friend Amber Frost, yeah. Just a just a fine gal in every sense. So um That'd be cool if you hit Adam with your car though, because then the last time he'd ever seen it would be you drove him to Costco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bought a hot dog and then didn't say that's his this is his third strike actually because the first strike is when he yeah made me drive him to costco and didn't give me gas money the second strike is when i got him in the michael chase birthday party and mm. then he ditched me to hang out with those please don't destroy fucking losers and then um and now it's this <laughs> i mean he's just a piece of shit and this is why i never i never considered him a close friend jesus <laughs> like i'm not mad like i'm it'll i'm sure it'll be fine uh-huh. you know but um, he just disgusts me. And his, his girlfriend's like 15 years younger than him. <laughs> I know better. Anyway. Like, if anyone's too into it... Nobody should care. Nobody should make no, their no, career. No, first of all, it's a fucking tragedy. No, it don't is. care about it. You can't care. You can't really care. But if you're, this is like when people are like, I believe in God. I'm like, but if I know, but do you? But if you're a Dixon joke guy... And then this becomes your banner, like the the flag that the tattered. Who's a dicks and farts joke guy? I've been talking about this since 2018. You're saying you're a dicks and that you're waving. I think so. It's like what? What is? What? Why? It's just that's how the internet is designed for us. So anyway, so I uh, yeah, I was initially a little bit more upset with Jordan. Just long story short. You know, I uh, I said I texted I I sent Jordan a, a picture of a dead child, <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, Jordan, why do people care about this? It's so cringe." And then she goes, uh, "She goes, I never said I don't care. Don't lump me in with people like that." And then I was like, "You said it on the Adam Friedland show." And she goes, "What are you talking about?" And then I had to like go, I had to like find screen recording on my phone mm-hmm. and screen record that clip and send it to her. And then she goes, uh, "She goes, okay, you got me." But I could show you lots of videos of kids being killed. You only care about this stuff. <laughs> and I go, what are you talking about? And I said, that's, I said, that's ridiculous. This is what I said. I said, that's ridiculous and you know it. Hmm. And then she said, go to a protest and leave me alone. <laughs> and then I said, I said, you're a bum and I don't need people like you in my life. And that's kind of where I left it with her. Um, so, yeah. So that's what's happening there. Uh, and then I blocked her on uh, Instagram. I, I thought I thought this story it, started with you being like. At first, I was mad at her, but <laughs> and then now you guys are. I was. Mad I was. Each other. I was. I was more upset with her. Oh, but I you was still more are. upset with Jordan. I think. So. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, hmm. I am. You know, it's a bummer. I'm a little sad about it. Yeah, you know, but uh, I'll be fine in a couple of days. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna finish the dummy that I've made of her, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jack off on it, and then <laughs> hit it with my car, and that'll that'll make that'll make me feel better. You're fight it um, or something. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, and then this is I I I thought this was really funny because because I, I ended up yelling at Deb also over this, Jeez. and I said you don't have my back, 
and I and I was like, and I was like, sometimes I feel like. What do you want, Dev? Do you want Dev to release a statement? She kind of laughed that I. She, I told her that I blocked Jordan. She kind of laughed at me. Yeah, you don't. What is this? You don't do that. But That's I feel like I said, do that. I said I don't. And you don't even don't. go to school together, so you can't even like forgive each other in person. So you're gonna have her blocked way longer than. You know, even kid, you know, it's kid. It, that's childish. Don't do that. Unblock her. <clears throat> do you think we could change right now? <laughs> do you think we could? Do you think we could change Jordan Jensen's opinion if we told her her crush Nick Mullen likes Palestine? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what a loser. Um, and then and then so I texted Adam. I said, "It's funny how you'll go on Chapo and make your little viral clips talking about how <laughs> about the occupation's <laughs> bad, and then, and then throw me <laughs> under the bus." Psychopath. <laughs> and then I sent yeah. psychopath. You see this picture I said. <laughs> I made Deb flip him off. <laughs> I, I, I took a picture of me and Deb giving him the finger, and I sent oh, it to him. So good. <laughs> so stupid. And I was like, God, that's... I, I was like, I have to do this because it's so funny. Yeah, that's so that's where I left that. I lost two friends this week. Uh, I, you know, I lost one friend, maybe two. I think things will be fine with Adam. Um, you know us. We hate women. We're a lot, a lot harder on them. Um, but... Uh, why don't we get into um? <laughs> why don't we get into how to make how friends? To make friends. Yeah, take it away, Sean. Yeah. Well, Mike just taught us how to destroy friendships. So yeah, know. but I'll tell you what, it feels good. It feels <laughs> no, it does. It, it feels really good. No, to, what's gonna I know, happen? Johnny Johnny said this. No, what's gonna happen is it feels good in the moment. It's yeah. just like you know, yelling at somebody you're like in a relationship with when they hurt you or do whatever. Mm -hmm. It feels good for a moment, but yeah. then a week goes by, two weeks goes by, three weeks goes by, and you'd be like. Oh, I I wish I could text them this thing, you know, mm -hmm. but my pride is whatever, or I'm mad at them, or they're mad at me, you know. Yeah, it's not really worth it. It's not like she was that great of a friend to begin with. Ian is a is a fantastic friend. Sure, Ian's one of the best people in in the whole world. Yeah, but it's going to make things more difficult if you're openly feuding with his podcast co-host. Maybe for your and Ian fr uh, friendship. Yeah, I could just forget. <laughs> Remember in uh, remember in that show The OC when Lauren Conrad said, "I want to forget you." No, <laughs> she said that to somebody. No, I don't remember that. Uh, I guess I watched that show a lot. My girlfriend in high school on. watched that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, anyway, enough about this. Yeah. Well, let's just get into. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 you know, I have been noticing do, 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 do. people don't. That was. Sorry, go ahead. People don't have to see. People don't. No, have Laguna Beach is what I'm thinking of. Oh, you the were reality thinking, show. Uh, that was a pretty good show. No, it wasn't. No, there were some really hot, hot girls on there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a show about like rich kids in California in like yeah, that show in like, like 2004. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Anyway, Sean, take it away. Yeah, people don't have as many close friends anymore. And like, um, you know, it, it seems like a, a lot of people end friendships over very, let's say, not important things, in my opinion. Like, people are very mercenary with their friends. You don't have you think lying, though, is not important? Lying about uh, you being a dick and farts guy? Or no, no, no. She lied, she lied to me about, uh, don't, uh, don't say I don't care. So... The three, the three things I hate, liars, fakes, and cheaters, alcoholics, sluts, and fucking wife beaters. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, it's Bizarre's verse from an Obi Trice song. Oh, that's funny. I guess that describes my life. I don't even know whose song this is. Obi Trice, bitch. Bizarre don't give a fuck about no hip-hop. <laughs> At my release party in a pink tank top and Reeboks. <laughs> it's a great album, Cheers by Obi Trice. Mm -hmm. I think that's our problem. It's like anytime it, something comes up, uh, like a rap lyric pops in our head, and that's how we deal with it.